Hello, I'm Carol Larson. Here are your news and weather headlines from Two Works For You. A man is behind bars and two police cars are damaged after a chase on Highway 75. That pursuit started near Berry Hill Tuesday and ended south of Glenpool, but the suspect damaged a couple of patrol cars along the way. It went, drove around the Berry Hill area where he backed into one of our patrol cars as well as one of the uh, U.S. Marshals Task Force vehicles, disabling both of those cars. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office told us the suspect had a warrant for lewd molestation, and when they tried to pull him over, he took off. Authorities tell us no one was injured during the chase. Well, the city's largest affordable housing project, the River West Community in Tulsa, is opening up. Crews have been working on phase one of the $170 million project. It encompasses 74 housing units, each apartment with a washer and dryer, pre-wired for internet access, a security system, and tenants even have access to a tornado shelter. The city of Tulsa received a $30 million grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Going on right now, the city of Tulsa's online surplus auction at the Purple Wave auction website, and they just added more stuff. Bids for some items are open through April 13th. Bids for the most recently posted items are open through April 27th. You can find everything from office cubicles to furniture and framed wall art, as well as Segway units, bikes, and more. Fab Lab Tulsa is celebrating the groundbreaking for its new facility, the Hardesty Hub for Makers. The nonprofit's 14,000 square foot facility will be in the Kendall Whittier neighborhood with a large wood shop, new metal shop, and two learning spaces for programs. Now to our 10 day forecast, chillier days and really chilly mornings. Take a look at the changes ahead. We're back into the 70s for the next few days. We'll warm up just in time for the weekend and looking like spring all through next week. For more news and weather, go to our app, website, and social media pages. We're always here with updates throughout the day.